In order to max out our pasta bridge, the idea is to take many, many strands of pasta and just keep gluing them together so the long beams of pasta in our giant bridge is nothing but many, many regular sized strands of pasta. Here's where we were after 20 minutes of gluing. Is it, is it strong? Whoa. Well, let's give it a go, eh? Yeah, I think this will hold. Great, so we just need to build a few more of these then, right? Yeah, that's right. How many more? 212 more. 212 of these. More. I think that there's a better way of doing this. I would be delighted to know there's a better way. You'd be faster than this. Much faster. Sure, let's do it. Awesome. Uh, this is Michaela. She's an undergrad in industrial engineering, right? I am. And you and Kyle have a new plan for how we can build our pasta bridge that's not going to look oh, like this. Oh, man. This is the best that Kyle and I could do with 20 minutes. OK, well, I have better. Good, I'm glad. How are we going to do it? So instead of that, we're going to try something like this. Oh, OK. This is sort of like a giant burrito kind of thing, right? Yep. But we're going to build the bridge out of this. Exactly. Uh, we're going to make it longer, though? Yep, we're going to make it eight feet long. We have this long pole, right? Yep. And we have sheets of this pasta. We're going to put them on the diagonal. OK. And we're going to roll it. Mm -hmm. But we're going to start from this corner, and we're going to keep rolling. And don't All forget right. to add water. And we got to add water. I'll add the water. OK. Adding water, just Yay. like this? Yep helps the pasta to stick together. So as we're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling. We're going to keep doing this with a bunch more sheets so that it gets really, really long, like eight feet long. And when we're finally done rolling, we got to spray it with some varnish. Yep. And so it all holds together. Great. And then it's going to be about this thick Yeah. when we're finished with it. Exactly. So each one of these large pieces is going to be like one single strand of pasta in the little bridge we made. Yeah. We roll sheets and sheets of pasta along an eight foot long pole, making many layers of pasta. Then we wait for it to dry and remove the pole. What we have is an eight foot long hollow tube of pasta that becomes a single piece of the bridge. Then we attach a bunch of these pieces together and use more sheets of pasta to glue them into the shape we used for our small pasta bridge. And we've made a giant truss. Look at this. This is great, guys. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. If I hit it, you think it'd stay together? No, oh, stop. Yeah. What? This is pasta, not steel. It's only made to just hold you. Kyle, what do you think are the chances that this is going to hold me when we build it? Something like 50-50. Not bad. Michaela, what do you think? I'm going to hold for the best. Now we've made a lot more rolls of pasta and connected them all together to make a second truss and a roadway, as well as the cross braces on top. And when we get it all together, we end up with... Whoa! Pasta bridge! Pasta, pasta bridge! bridge. <laughs> we did it! OK, here we go. Ah! Oh, no! That doesn't bode well for our pasta bridge. What, what happened here, Kyle? You put all your weight in the middle of the joist. It snapped. Uh-huh. If only there was a way to distribute your weight. Oh, wait a minute. That gives me an idea. Skis distribute your weight over a large area so you don't sink in the snow. That's what skis do, which is perfect for the pasta bridge. <laughs> Come on. Uh, okay. Okay. Here come we go. on. Uh, Carefully. Uh huh. Is it working? Yeah. It's working. I this, hear some cracking. This might oh, do it. No. Uh huh. Try to try to spread your legs apart. Spreading Distribute my legs apart. Distribute your weight. Distributing my weight. It's swaying a lot. Oh man. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> There you go, science max, experiments at large, pasta bridge, skis, what more could you want? Maybe a pasta chairlift of some sort. <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. <laughs>